In this video, we demonstrate how to save data to a CSV formatted file as an example. We will also demonstrate how to write CSV files directly to a remote file system. Data export works much the same way for the many other file types, such as Excel files. CSV means comma separated values and is the format that typically stores tabular data in plain text. The data entries are organized by rows and the values are separated by the specified delimiter. Usually the delimiter is a comma, but it can also be a semicolon, a colon, tab, or some other special character. Let's suppose that you want to save the resulting data of your workflow to a CSV file. The node that writes data to a CSV file is the CSV writer node. Let's open the configuration window of the CSV writer node. First, we need to define the output location of the file. We can write to the local file system and provide the full absolute path, for example, via browsing the desired location. We can also write relatively to a specified mount point, current workflow, or current workflow data area, or use a custom URL. In the path, we can provide not only the existing location and the file name, but also the new folder to be created. Missing folders will be created automatically if we check the box, Create Missing Folders. If the file already exists, we can either overwrite it, append the new rows to the end of the existing file, or stop the operation. If you want to append new data to the existing file, note that you can check this option. Don't write column headers if file exists to append the new data to the existing table without the column headers in between. Here, you can set up the format of the CSV file. This is where you can specify the column delimiter, the row delimiter, the quote, and the quote escape character. Here, below, you can define whether you want to have the column headers and row IDs in the file. In the Advanced Settings tab, you can specify when to use quotes. Here, you can also specify which character to use as a decimal separator, as well as some additional options for numeric values. Finally, you can define a custom misting value pattern and whether the output file should be compressed. In the Comment Header tab, you can add a comment in the beginning of the file. In the Encoding tab, you can select the encoding type. In this example, we want to write the filtered data to a file located on the user's desktop. We provide the path in the local file system and use the default settings for the remaining options. If we now execute the CSV writer node, the input data will be written to the CSV file located on the user's desktop. We can also write the files directly to the remote file systems. In this example, we want to write the filtered data to a file located on Amazon S3. Using the Amazon Authentication and Amazon S3 connector nodes, we set up the connection and then specify the working directory on Amazon S3. We activate the file system connection port via the three dots on the CSV writer icon in the configuration of the CSV Writer, the output location is now automatically set to Amazon S3. We can now provide the path by browsing on S3, like we did for the local file system. If we now execute the CSV Writer node, the input data will be written to the CSV file located in the specified location on Amazon S3. We can do the same for the many other cloud, remote, and distributed file systems. For example, Google Cloud Storage, Microsoft SharePoint, Azure Blob Storage, Databricks, and more. In this video, we introduced the CSV file format, demonstrated how to use the CSV writer node to save data into CSV format, demonstrated how to write CSV files directly to remote file systems. Notice that the data export options are similar to other file formats, which each have their dedicated writer nodes 
and varying configuration options for the respective file structure. 